Hi everyone, Clifford here. In this video, we are going back to the basic. Do you want to transform your serve from this one to that one? Keep watching, we're gonna break it down for you. In this series of video, we're gonna be focusing on the basic skills. Serve, return, drive, third shot drop, overhead, etc. Because in my humble opinion, I think this is one of the things that is keeping you from taking your game to the next level. Without further ado, let's go right into it. Okay, so today we're gonna talk about the serve, okay? The thing I don't want you to do when you're serving, I don't want you to scoop, okay? Because when you scoop, that ball is going high and with no speed on it, okay? So if you want your serve to be fast, deep, okay, with toss spin on it, you have to stop scooping, okay? As soon as you have your grip, okay? So this is my tip number one. You're gonna bend your wrist, okay? So you see, you bend your wrist. Let's say you bend it like 45 degrees. Why is that? It's very important because this is the face of your paddle. This is where you're gonna make contact with the ball. So as you can see, the ball, the face is facing the ceiling, which means that ball, when you scoop it like that, is going high. This is just physics. So if you want that ball to go deep and low, you just have like to switch the angle a little bit. So this is why I told you my tip number one is drop your wrist, let's say 45 angles. Let's say this is 90 and 45. So by only dropping your wrist 45 angles. Now, even if you're scooping, you see that ball is going deep, okay? The ball is not going that high. But if I have it like 90 degrees, when I serve like this, you see that ball is going high, okay? And I drop it, even I scoop, that ball is going low. You have to use your body because beginners, player, what they do, when they're gonna serve, they just approach the court like this and they stay like this, okay? So all they're gonna do, they're gonna scoop. As I mentioned earlier, they're using their arm. Watch that, my body is not doing nothing, okay? So now you have to start using your body because believe it or not, this is where the power comes from, okay? The power comes when you're gonna turn your hips, okay? You're turning your hips like this, okay? So now, second tip with your wrist you bend in 45 degrees so now you're gonna do the same with your body when you approach the court like this we're gonna call that 90 degrees so you have to turn your body now 45 degrees which gonna look like this you turn and you make contact okay you turn you make contact but remember as soon as you have your wrist down 45 degrees you lock it okay you're not gonna move your wrist anymore so now it's gonna look like this if i do it in slow motion okay you see i turn my hips and boom so as you can see my serve has more power now more speed and that ball is not going high but it's going deep okay the other thing you can do about your serve so now is how you finish okay how you finish means some people some player they can finish forward and some other player they can finish like over their shoulder like this okay so what i want you to understand about that where you finish is the one that's gonna dictate where the ball is going if i want to have like a very good serve what i would do okay so now watch what i'm going to do first thing i would do i have my 40 degrees I'm not standing like this anymore. I'm turning my body a little bit. So if I do it in slow motion, it would be something like that. And I'm gonna finish in the direction where I want the ball to go. You have to go out there and practice those. Okay, so remember, bend your wrist, turn your body, and move your hips when you're serving. If you can put that in your serve, believe me, you're gonna have very good serve and your opponent gonna struggle in every time you serve at them. I hope guys you like the video, please don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next time.